What's going on guys? Dark here with another video. Uh, here is just going to be a video response to Rust Belt Collector. Uh, his is actually a video response to JC2224 uh, on taking toys too serious. So uh, the way that he ended his was going to be, um, you know, the top five figures that you would choose should the worst come to pass. So your house is burning down, uh, you run into a little bit of financial trouble, just something that would consider you chopping the the numbers of your collection down a few and say you only had the choice to save five in your collection. So mine may seem a little weird just due to the nature of how many newer figures there's going to be. A lot of that has to do with some personal things that went on in my life and without hearkening too much back to that it's basically the equivalent of a house fire <laughs> so not much of my stuff from childhood has survived but we're gonna go ahead and start this off with something that is really really near and dear to me not only the character is kind of one of my favorites from the series um but it actually kind of jump-started my uh customizing and and brought me back into the community so uh, that is going to be uh soap from the McFarlane line. So this is a custom figure. So this is going to be the price from series two of the McFarlane Call of Duty line. I went ahead and took the soap from uh, series one, cut the uh, the neck a little bit, made it, you know, sized correctly, went ahead and thrown in the, uh, the shawl or what have you on the throat. Uh, there is a Halo Reach pouch on his right leg, uh, just a couple of different things. I have a video of him up, uh, going into more detail. Very, very much inspired from uh, Rust Belt again. He has been a major influence on me uh, coming back into the customizing community. Uh, I haven't been in since uh, Figure Realm. I don't know if you guys ever posted back there. Uh, it's a website where people would go to share for their customized uh, figures and whatnot, but let's go on to the next. So. Um, when it comes to this next figure, I honestly compiled him through a combination of being inspired from uh, Mythic Customs, Jeremy Gerard over at uh, the Mythic Legions Cabal, as well as the fact that I've really wanted to get into 3D printing uh, projects for a while now. So if I could list uh, just a couple, it's going to be CB Make, um, LRL Customs, Von Burke Studios. There's so many different people that are putting terrific prints out right now. Hottest Fuzz Customs when you're looking for Halo. Um, there's, I could go on and on and on, but uh, this is really, really one of the biggest pieces that jump-started my interest in the 3D printing line, or not 3D printing line, rather, but 3D printing figure pieces. Uh, so this is going to be my Boba Fetter. So or a Boba Fett Predator, what have you. So I went ahead and took, I believe that is a Scout. I can't remember, um, but I have a couple of different, you know, Predator uh, pouches and necklaces and things like that. But he has a Mandalorian um, Predator helmet. And as soon as I was going through it, I was kind of thinking of the way that the Mando is structured, but all of my projects changed throughout the course of it. I ended up going on and getting very much inspired from uh, Jeremy's uh, Mythic Legions Boba Fett figure. So you'll see there's an actual skull on the right hand or on the left hand side rather. Um, if you take a look at the back, I've actually gone ahead and added the blue and orange color to the jetpack and to his um, plasma caster here. And I am just really, really, it's very simple, um, but this project ended up turning out way better than I had expected and anticipated. Uh, and I'm very grateful for that. And I can't say anything but nice things about uh, the people in the 3D printed uh, community and all of the effort that you guys put in toward making ter just terrific stuff for the rest of us. So I can be nothing but thankful for that. And then speaking of Mythic Legions and uh, Jeremy Gerard, he is one of the major reasons that I've actually gotten into the Mythic Legions line. Um, also Darius Prince or D Amazing, uh, great guy. I interact with him every once in a while. He's, uh, I try not to bug anybody with DMs, but 
generally speaking, there are terrific people in the community and I would reach out to them and, you know, just check up on them, make sure that they had a good holiday and should they not have had a good holiday that you wish them the best of the new year and hope that they have a, a great one going forward. But here is uh, Atimos. So this is going to be my crestfallen. Uh, if you guys are big fans of Dark Souls, you'll pick up on that pretty instantly. But this is going to be my Mythic Legions figure to represent myself. So I've always kind of been a thinner dude, uh, making sure that I could get a character that represents that properly for me was was imperative. So all of the, or I'm sorry, not all, but the 1.0 Mythic Legions figures, I'll just put one around here. Uh, they're pretty stout. They're pretty uh, large characters and that's just never been me. So I went ahead and I got one of the 2.0 uh, Skeleton Legion builders and uh, took the chest plate, took a couple of different pieces and just kit bashed the whole thing and uh, added the colors for the Silver Horn Sentry. So very much inspired from the lore of the Mythic Legions, um, backstories and everything going on in there, as well as just an additional piece for myself. You know, he's got a little fairy here that'll bring him back to life. Uh, his little healing potion so just a i guess realistic depiction of how your character would have a respawn mechanic healing mechanic uh, as well as just being a, a really cool accurate not i wouldn't say accurate because i'm not actually in mythic legions but just a good representation of how i would uh see myself in in mythos so very very uh proud of that figure here he's actually been one of my uh, I guess most influential pieces on my Instagram like more people have asked about that particular build than anything else so if I can share any details please don't be afraid to reach out guys um, so the next two I can't really put in order uh, well none of these five really I would even have a order of list and like how important they are um, they're all kind of pretty imperative, but this one uh, in particular is going to be the uh, McFarlane uh, Series 8 um, uh, Master Chief, so it's going to be from the Halo 2 design. So you'll see there's no scuffing on the chest, there's no additional battle damage. Um, this honestly is one of the only figures that has made it with me throughout my childhood. Um, so... I would not be willing to separate with him. Um, back in the day, I used to have uh, several of the uh, Heroic Collection. I don't know if you guys remember much of the McFarlane lines, um, but they were the Halo Wars-ish um, inspired kind of figures. They were about 2.5, maybe 1.5 inch, and uh, they were set in a particular pose. They had movement at the waist, and uh, I had so many of those. Those honestly took up more of my time uh, with the action figures for the Halo line than a lot of the later figures just because I had so many of them. Uh, but this particular chief somehow managed to stay with me throughout everything that I had gone through. Um, pretty much, like I said, the equivalent of it, a house fire. I lost almost everything from my childhood, including and not limited to... Um, baby pictures and stuff like that. So I am very, very grateful to have had um, something, especially as Halo is like important as it's been to my childhood. Uh, super, super grateful that I was able to, to hold on to him throughout that. So that is going to be the series eight of the McFarlane uh, Halo three line. This is gonna be the Halo two version of Chief technically. So uh, the last one is going to be just I guess, uh, like a super, super grail figure. Like I never thought I was going to own this. I'd never thought it was going to be part of my collection. Um, uh, being as late to the game as I was and not really having the funds at the time to ever be able to afford one. And then just watching it turn into a more distant, um, I guess opportunity down the line. Like I never really thought I was going to be able to, to own this figure. So I'll go ahead and uh, pull them on screen finally. This is going to be uh, the SH Figure Arts uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, or the Teen Gohan, uh, considering he does have the Super Saiyan 1 and 2 
face. So watching um, Anthony's Customs, uh, D Amazing, all of these different reviewers back in the day, as these SH figure arts um, figures were coming out, I was super, super excited to just watch the reviews because I knew I was never going to actually get them in hand. And to take that perspective and then shoot it, you know, eight, nine years into the future, however long it's been. Um, and just to say that I actually have them. Now I have Vegeta. Um, I've got Gohan. I've got a couple of different figures that I never honestly figured, like, thought I was going to have in hand. So, once again, super grateful. Um, it's a really terrible thought to have. But if my collection was needing to be sold off or um, if I was in a house fire or whatever and I had the opportunity to do so rather than having to focus on my dog my wife my actual important belongings um these would be the five figures that I would try to save uh, if I could but I um without going off on too much of a tangent uh, I have gone through a previous scenario in my life where pretty much everything that I owned was upended from underneath me and I had to move. So going back to uh, having pretty much nothing and uh, having to restart my collection, I have a very particular amount of figures that I will buy. Uh, I don't really buy a whole series. Like there's not really going to be very many uh, figure lines that I'm going to like buy them all. I don't, it's never been me. I don't have the desire to collect them all. Um, but for sure, out of these five figures, I, I really couldn't decide out of each of them. Um, but these would be the five that would hopefully be able to come with me should something catastrophic happen. But I do have another one of these planned afterwards. Uh, this is going to be uh, my favorite customs, either of 2021 or beyond. I'm not entirely sure yet, uh, but I do hope you guys have a beautiful day. Please do stay safe and uh, talk to you soon.